So you guys just installed this. When you first install it on first run, it'll ask you to unlock it. And you simply put in your email address that you used when you ordered and it'll unlock it for you. If for whatever reason it hasn't unlocked, send us an email to support at btvsolo.com and we'll try to help you out. More than likely, it's a firewall issue and or you can't connect to the internet. Once you're unlocked, boom, you're in. The first thing we're going to want you to do, you PC users, if you have never installed a professional sound device before, professional software or hardware that comes with drivers, do yourself and us a favor before you install it. Get ASIO for all drivers. ASIO4all.com. This will allow you to run pro apps, and because you don't have ASIO drivers or a device for them, there's no need for them. Your, your Windows machine doesn't come with these. So get this first before you install BTV Solo. It'll make your life a lot easier once you get into the thing. Click on System, and here you'll see whatever drivers you have. We'll set yours to ASIO for all. The buffer size, the lower you can get this, the better. However, if you don't have an actual sound card, you're just using your PC machine, you probably won't be able to get this too low. You'll probably be stuck between 256 and, well, as high as it goes. Once you have ASIO for all installed, a couple quick things I want you to take a look at. Hooking up a MIDI controller to BTV Solo is wicked. It's a great next step to evolving from hitting on your keyboard that you type on to an actual controller of some kind. They come in keyboard format, pad format, knobs, all kinds of different methods and formats that you can get with controllers. You'll see by the price that some of them are very, very cheap, especially if you're only going to get a few octaves. And then to go one step further, I recommend getting yourself, you beginner guys, this bad boy right here. The CI2 by Steinberg. I'm not endorsing Steinberg. I don't work for Steinberg. I just like this because that's what I've been using. This and the M-Audio. Um, once you get into these professional sound cards and the drivers they come with and whatnot, and you can utilize them, within your audio apps, not just BTV Solo, but every audio application relies on heavy use of your PC. So these will greatly improve the performance. You'll have less lag, you'll have less delay, less latency, we call it. I have all of the sound kit upgrades installed, and I have both Solo and the previous version, which was just called Virtual. I'm going to talk about that for a second. Virtual is what comes in the box when you buy the hardware. Solo and Pro or what you can buy online. Pro isn't out yet. By the time you guys watch this video, it might be, but right now it's not out yet. And the, don't, the only difference between Solo and Pro is Solo does not have a VST, does not have a sampler, and it comes with a few less sounds. However, for Solo in the near future, again, by the time you guys see this video, it might be out, we will have a VST add-on just for Solo, okay? So if you get Solo now, and uh, you're like, damn, I wanted the VST. I mean, maybe I should have waited to get Pro because that does come with the VST. It's okay. You guys will be able to get the VST for just for solo, and then you can preload all the packs here. So this is now 5,200 plus the original 6,000 sounds that I have loaded up here, which is phenomenal, plus my own stuff that I've imported. So let's look at the interface and walk through making our first beat. I want to get you guys to set yourself to pattern mode. I'm going to have to exit out of here. I'm already in a beat right now. Let's see what I got going here, actually. A little bit of nice house. Okay, so click new. You guys don't have all these kits, but basically each one of these, Alonzo, for instance, has kits which represent drums and samples and hits and effects and whatnot, and then instruments, which are, which are actual scaled and key spanned instruments. This here is laid out like a keyboard octave. And you'll notice that once you press new, open up here, I'll do what you guys do. If you haven't bought any of these kits, you'll have solo kits and then you have solo instruments and then users. So let's click on East Boom Kit. I can click on these pads or I can use the keyboard I type on, starting with the A being your C and going up the octave. The banks here, you'll notice right now it's on bank two. You can bank up and down eight times. So going back to that MIDI controller, if you have one of the bigger ones with a full eight octaves, you can control this thing pretty meticulously over all eight octaves per kit, per bank, per sound, and get full use out of it. So uh, because these are drums, when you bank up on the drum kits, you'll just hear more actual drums and sounds and samples. And when you do that on the instruments, you'll literally bank up octaves. Okay, let's walk through the rest of the interface. 
Obviously, that's the title. This is your bar count, and we're at a bar count of four right now when quantizing 116. Click on it, and you can drag with your mouse, click, hold, and drag, or you can use your arrow keys on the keyboard. Uh, and it, this goes up to 199 or 200, I believe. So we'll set ours to eight. And quantizing goes from 164 down to off, so you can have that natural feel if you want. We'll leave ours at 116 here as well. Uh, don't worry about these for now. Uh, the rest of the stuff I'm going to leave alone. You guys can watch in the advanced videos. But right away, you'll notice that all the buttons are pretty easy. Once you get familiar with the interface once, the learning curve once, you're done. The channels are 1 through 8, and then you click on the 916 guy. When that lights up and stays on, you know you're at 9 to 16. All right, but we're going to start at just channel 1. And when you click on 1, you'll notice it lights up for a second, second and a half maybe, and then it just turns off, and that indicates you're on 1, and it also indicates up here. So we clicked on, double-clicked on a, a kit, we double click on, or sorry, click, hold, and drag on our BPM, or again, use your arrow keys that you type on. We'll bring this down to 95-ish. And then our record button flashing indicates pr approximately how fast we'll be recording. You can also tap tempo yourself in. So if you're on YouTube or something, or listening to, a, to the radio, or listening to a song you like, you can actually just tap to the beat that you're listening to. And you'll notice the BPM keeps changing, and it's finding approximately where that tempo is so about 102.56 nice boom kit You can turn the record back off and now it's in preview mode again so you can keep listening to the other samples. Turn it back on and go. Roll does that. Click on roll and hold it and then click on or with your finger push the button you want for the pad to roll on. Let go and it stops. Here's our pitch and our mod. I'll explain those in, on the next layer or two. But we already have a very simple beat being looped over eight. Okay, now that we have that in, if, if I wanted to delete just that drum right there, I would click and hold, control and shift. I don't want to do that right now, but let's say I screw up somewhere and I just want to delete one pad or one note somewhere, control and shift does it. You can also delete this whole track. Let's say you're onto your fifth layer and you almost got it right, but you want to start over just on that layer. You want to erase everything on layer five. You would click on layer five click on the number five up here and then delete and then all and it'll delete everything on layer five and only on layer five and you can redo whatever that was that you wanted to redo all right so let's go to layer two now we'll continue just grab a different set of drums I don't know if you noticed, but I left this bar count at four. So layer two only has four bars. Layer one has eight bars. Your longest bar count will lead. So this will simply repeat until it reaches this. You can even have odd numbers. It'll all match up, though. OK, so that's on layer two.
you have enough layers going that you like, or even after you do your first layer, just so you make sure in case the computer freezes or crashes or the machine dumps out on you or whatever, click save and just save it right away. Press on user, and now when you go and open up BTD Solo again, let's exit for a second, you see user patterns. When you click on user patterns, you'll see all your user patterns, and there's the one I just added. So here's all the beats I've been working on over the past little bit. Some of these are the actual demos you'll hear on the other sites, like BKE Sound, when you grab, where you grab all the sound packs. So from here, once you have five, six, seven layers, eight layers, 16 layers, holding down control mutes layers, and or holding down alt, even if some are muted, I can solo just this layer. And I will go and play just that, and I'll have everything else muted out. So I can have that as demo one, which would be my intro. Let's say I only want this for my intro. Then cool, I can simply click this button. It'll allow me to make a copy, or I can call this demo one B. And now you can easily go to song mode, click new, and then in your user patterns, you'll see your different little patterns that you've made. Simply drag one in, drag the next one in, and the next one and the next one, however many you've made, your intro, your chorus, your verse, your chorus, your bridge, and then tell each one how many times you want it to loop. It's an eight bar loop, so I want the intro to be in for eight. So this one's gonna be in for eight, this one's gonna be in for 16, this one's gonna be in for 32. So that would be our verse, back to the chorus, and you keep building your song from here, all right? Then when you're done, simply click save and save your song. Okay, now if I go to song mode, exit out of here, and see use your songs, there's a new user song. Double click on that, it pulls this up, you press play, it's gonna start and play accordingly. That's how you start seeing how the different stringing together of the patterns is done. And once you're done this, again, export, record, play, it'll export your whole song for you. You save it to your machine just like you did the other time. All right, cool. Thanks for paying attention. Make the most out of that BTV solo you guys just picked up. It'll give you a lifetime of value from here. Keep making beats. Peace.